I asked the members of our Facebook group if they would be willing to cruise if they had to wear a mask and over 50% said that they wouldn't. Some people went as far as to say that if it's not safe enough to cruise without a mask, then it's not safe enough to cruise. That said, cruise lines are releasing their guidelines now, some of which mention masks, and river cruises have started up again. I think there's a lot of evidence that we can look at to work out how mask wearing is going to realistically affect your next cruise. Before we get into this week's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. I bring you a new video every single week, and we also do live cruise trivia on this channel, which is very fun, so make sure you join us for that on a Friday. Cruise lines are of course going to do as much as they can to make sure that social distancing is adhered to on cruises. That said, there are some times where social distancing is pretty much just not possible on a cruise. On embarkation day, they have thousands of people going through the same space. At master drill, they have thousands of people in a group. On excursions, they have people crammed into buses. And at times like this, social distancing just really isn't an option. It could be that you have to wear a mask when social distancing isn't possible, and it could be mandatory in these settings. On airlines at the moment, a lot of them are making it mandatory that you have to wear a mask. A lot of airlines are doing it for check-in, on board, getting off the entire flight. It's not realistic to expect people to do that on a cruise because you're on a cruise for a week or two, you're not gonna wear a mask the entire time. But asking people to wear a mask for embarkation or for mustard drill for that hour or two hours, I think that's realistic and we could see more of that. It's very difficult though to enforce anything that's mandatory. You're gonna get some people that just don't wanna do it. It does depend a lot on what people in the wider world are doing. If it's generally assumed that people wear masks, it's probably safe to assume that people on cruise ships will wear masks. Here in the UK, we've been very, very lax on it. It's only required if you're on public transport. Apart from that, if you go shopping, you don't have to wear a mask. It's highly suggested, but at the moment here at least, it's not required. You can probably assume that if you do have to wear a mask on a cruise, that you'll have to bring your own. I think that does make sense. But Royal Caribbean have requested a patent for something called the Sea Face, which is a, I assume, a face mask that you wear on cruises, Royal Caribbean themed, so Sea Face. The thing is, is everybody kind of went a bit crazy when Royal Caribbean put out this patent and said, we're all gonna have to wear masks, Royal Caribbean are confirming it. To Royal Caribbean, that $350 that it costs them to put in a patent is pretty much nothing. They're a huge, huge company, they're not gonna miss $350. And I think it's more a case of, it's an idea, we'll patent it, just so that if we do use it, we have that there. And they could have their own masks, you know, for sale or something like that. It, it might not be as dramatic as people have said. I have seen people who say, you know, this confirms that we will all have to wear masks at all times on Royal Caribbean cruises. And I just don't think that's the case. Going forward, I think we can expect that the crew will be wearing masks, especially the people who work in the kitchens, the waiters, maybe even housekeeping, people like that. You've got to wonder, that's gonna make a very difficult job a lot harder. The cruise ship crew work long days for six or nine months at a time, and asking them to wear a mask for that entire time seems like a big ask. But I think going forward, we are gonna see more crew wearing masks. River cruises are starting to restart here in Europe. Arosa have produced this video which shows us what the future of cruising is gonna look like on an Arosa cruise. And it does say that all of the staff will be wearing masks. What will certainly be new to you is that some of our crew members are now wearing a protective mask, but you can be sure that the person behind the mask is smiling at you in a friendly way, even if you don't recognize this at first glance. Please keep in mind that you are legally obligated to wear a protective mask on public transportation. This also applies to our transfer and excursion buses, as well as some areas on board our ships. I don't disagree that this is going to be weird. It feels a bit standoffish to talk to someone who has a mask on as opposed to someone who's smiling at you. But at the end of the day, every cruise line, their priority is health and safety, way above their crew looking friendly. I think it's very likely that at least in the short term, you will be encouraged to wear a mask. It's very polite to wear a mask. It does stop the spread of viruses. And if you wear a mask, you're stopping yourself from spreading it to other people. I've seen a lot of comments from people who say, I won't wear a mask because I'm not scared of catching it. 
It's not really how it works. You wear a mask so that you protect other people. I think a lot of people are more than happy to wear a mask. It does reassure other passengers, so I'm sure we'll see some people wearing masks, even if it's not mandatory. I've actually been on cruise ships before where I've seen people wearing masks, and it didn't faze me at all. We were cruising in Asia from Singapore to Tokyo, and in a lot of Asian countries, wearing face masks when you're sick is just polite. It's just done, and I think it's very, very nice. So I don't really think it's unrealistic that we will see some people on cruise ships wearing masks, even if they don't have to. I think generally speaking, what the experience on the cruise is going to be like is similar to what the experience on land is going to be like. If you're taking a British Isles cruise with British people and everyone in Britain is very used to wearing a mask, I think everyone on the cruise will be wearing a mask. If they're not, then they're not. I do think it's going to mirror where the cruise is going from as to how many people do it even though it's not mandatory. There are some places on cruise ships like the top deck where I don't think anybody would ever ask you to wear a mask. At the moment with the crew on cruise ships they've spread out everything so that there's more space between the passengers on the top decks. Whether that's going to carry on forward I'm not sure. It's a very difficult financial decision for a cruise line to reduce its capacity but I don't think anybody is going to ask you to wear a face mask on the top deck if you're sunbathing which is good because can you imagine these terrible suntans on your face, it'll be awful. One thing that does concern me a little bit is you're supposed to wash face masks after you've used them and where are you going to do that on a cruise? I'm a big fan of bringing a little thing of travel wash and washing some clothes in the sink for free but I don't think that's realistically going to work for face masks and the laundry isn't set up to get through that many face masks that fast and return them to the right people. It will be a disaster. I don't know how the cruise lines are going to deal with that and I don't think we're going to know until we get there. Another option of course is to use disposable face masks. I know a lot of people do prefer the more expensive reusable ones but if you can't wash them maybe disposable ones will be a better way to go. That said you would get through so many face masks on a 7 or 14 night cruise. I can't even imagine it. One big reason that I saw in our Facebook group as to why some people will not be wearing masks is that they have you know, they get headaches, they can't breathe very well, things like that. Some people will always not be able to wear masks and some people will not wear masks even if they can. It's a very difficult thing to police and I don't think the cruise lines, you know, they're going to be called out to someone who's not wearing a mask in a theatre or that guy sneezed at me. Like, it opens a really big can of worms and it's very difficult for the cruise line and for the passengers to enforce. Some people are always not going to follow the rules. On airlines at the moment, if you're six or over, you have to wear a mask. So I would assume that it would be similar on a cruise line. If they do, at any point, make it mandatory. So say at embarkation, everybody has to wear a mask. Probably children who are six plus would have to wear a mask. And I don't know, I've not tried to put a face mask on a six year old and keep it on there for a few hours, but I imagine that that's not very easy. So if face masks do become the rules, we may see more families kind of putting off cruising at least for the moment. On the river cruises that are currently sailing in Europe, it's not the case that the passengers have to wear masks, it is just the crew. I think realistically this is what we're going to see with ocean cruising. They may be able to make it enforced at certain times, like if you want to go on this bus excursion you have to wear a mask. They could realistically do things like that, but generally speaking when you're just on the cruise, I don't think they're going to be able to tell everybody to wear a mask because some people won't do it, some people won't book a cruise, some people can't do it, how are they going to enforce it? There's just so many questions. I have seen recently that Saga and Viking are planning on opening cruises as soon as lockdown ends and they're looking at doing British Isles cruises so that it's just a bit easier place to start. I personally can't afford a Viking or a Saga cruise but I've been on both and they are amazing. So if ever you get the chance, definitely do it. I'm wondering if I can smuggle myself on board and live in a lifeboat for a bit, I would do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. Let me know in the comments if you would still cruise if you do have to wear a mask at any point. It seems like a very divisive subject. There's people on one side that say, yes, I will cruise whatever, and I'm firmly on that side. And there's people who will say, no way am I wearing a mask on a cruise. I've paid money for the cruise. I don't want to spend it in a mask which is fair enough and makes perfect sense. So I'd like to know which side you're on. Leave me a comment and let me know. Personally, I'm on the side of, I will wear a mask to cruise again. I really want to go on a cruise and pretty much at any cost. The idea of wearing a mask all of the time is 
not ideal. I imagine it'll be very, very annoying. But if it's just at embarkation, at muster, I have no problem in doing that. If it makes other people feel safer, which I think it will, then I'm more than happy to do that. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week. If you've watched this far into the video, I would like to suggest a next video for you, which is this one that I made about cruise pricing and why I think it's gonna drop. Check that one out and I'll see you over there.